What's going on guys, Rob A here, and today we're taking a look at Megablox Call of Duty Combat Vehicle Attack. Uh, this set has 961 pieces and retails for about $80. Uh, so, you get three micro action figures in this set, and I am honestly not entirely certain the, uh, the vehicle it's based on. It seems to be semi-amphibious, uh, but I couldn't, I, like, I even looked in the Call of Duty, like, wiki pages and stuff like that, and I just couldn't, couldn't find this particular, uh, model vehicle. So, if you guys know what it is, please leave... Uh, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what's up. But, you know, you guys watching this probably know what's up with this, so I'm just going to show it off as a set. And uh, I do apologize, and I did do my due diligence. I was just unable to find the information, unfortunately. But it looks really, really cool. Um, and uh, we can check out the back here, and it shows a little bit more. In fact, you know what? I honestly wish that, uh, you know, being a licensed set like this mega blocks would actually like put you know the vehicle name somewhere on the back of the box like just to tell you like even even the accessories if it like you know told you what everything was like oh you got uh you know accessory pouches or binoculars radio you know the different different types types of firearms and things like that i, th I just think that would be a really cool addition uh to what mega blocks has here but Either way, um, you can see some of the, uh, the the features of the set, such as the, you know the various opening doors. Uh, I believe it shows in the back here. It does show it in the water. It does have a propeller in the back, so that kind of leads me to believe it is at least semi-amphibious, and as as well as the kind of shape of the front end. Um, I've ridden in something similar before. Not definitely wasn't this big, um, but. Yeah, either way, it looks really, really cool, and uh, not much else to say. I'm excited to get it open and, and check it out, so I'm going to go ahead and get it put together, and I will see you guys in just a moment. Alrighty, guys, here we go, and uh, I've, after doing some more research, I think that this is modeled after the uh, M1126 or possibly the M1128 uh, Striker vehicles. Um, that's my best guess uh they don't quite match 100 percent the the front end slopes a bit more on the actual thing um and the 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 gun mount is further back i believe but um it seems the most similar but anyway let's get into the re review of this particular set <laughs> so uh like we do we're going to start off with the micro action figures first and we may as well start off with Mohawk here because he wants to keep falling down. Uh, so you can see, he is your standard guy. And all of these are your standard guy. He's got a, uh, but I believe this is the first time we've gotten the Mohawk head mold uh, in the Call of Duty sets. There we go, you can see Mohawk head mold, derp eyes. Uh, he's just got light blue pants and a green shirt. And looking very much like uh, Shipwreck. <laughs> well, not very much. Looks a little bit like Shipwreck, I think, from G.I. Joe. But uh, you can see he's got a nice nice weapon there with the, uh, the barrel clip. And, yeah, he's, uh, he's having a fun time. So, that's uh, for those of you unaware... I'm totally blanking out here, I'm sorry. He's got uh, articulation in the shoulders that goes in and out, up and down, around. Uh, same with the elbows, like so. Wrist swivels, uh, waist swivel, ball jointed hips, and knee bend. And of course, ball jointed head. Whoops. I broke his gun. I'm sorry. There we go. Uh, so yeah. Pretty cool. I like this guy, despite his derp face. It's all right. Do wish they had less derpy faces, but that's okay. Uh, you get this guy. You actually get two of these guys. Well, not not quite. All right. So you get this guy, and he's all decked out. He's got some kind of crazy weapon. <laughs> Looking pretty cool. There you go. And uh, I love this head sculpt, I really do. 
like it quite a lot. The face mask with the helmet and the visor. We get another guy with a similar, the exact same helmet and visor situation, but he's got his face mask removed. He's got an automatic rifle going there, and he's just decked out all in green. Uh, those are your three micro action figures. We'll just put them off to the side for right now and check out the little chunk of dirt that you get. Um, so yeah, it's just a chunk of dirt. Nothing really to say about it. It's literally just these two plates kind of hooked together uh, with a barrel, some rods, and this nice little uh, chain link fabric here, which actually does a pretty decent job. I actually like it quite a bit. And they went out of their way to make it sort of metallic-y looking, so it actually really does look like a chain link fence uh, at this scale, and I think it works well. And that's actually a pretty cool little piece. You just have to kind of fiddle with it a bit until it looks right to you. So there's that. On to the vehicle itself. We'll just call it the Striker. That may be wrong. Whatever. Um, yeah, I have mixed feelings towards this set overall. As you can see, it's, it's fairly good sized. Um, it is pretty solid for the most part. There are a few parts that bug me a lot. Uh, these front uh, edges here, these flaps, which is what they are, they're just flaps, uh, these pop off a lot, especially while you're building this. They have you build uh, this front end pretty early on, and uh, for the entire rest of the build, you're just knocking these off uh, pretty regularly. And then underneath here, you can see these little sloped pieces. They are just detached by one little thing, and they like to get knocked around a lot as well. But uh, get nice big chunky rubber tires, which is always nice. Um, get a couple of shovels on the back here. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you guys a real s kind of slow turnaround of the whole vehicle here. You can see the back end where you can lift this flap and expose the... Uh, the propeller to kind of help guide it through water. This is a real like straight up all-terrain vehicle. See some gas canisters on the side here. And all this. And then of course the front with the uh, mounted machine gun and the uh, the opening portholes I guess we'll call them for now. Uh, yeah, and you can just close this up and I guess knock it all off. Um, the, the, obviously this this piece is coming off and uh, the reason for that is because this doesn't quite fit together all that amazingly. Um, whoa, hey buddy, come on. There might be, I wonder if there's a piece of flash or something that's preventing that from closing properly, but uh, hopefully not. But um, yeah, I mean, I like the look of it. It's really nice looking. Uh, you can see the top there and everything. And again, in the back here, we can open it up just like the battle tank. Open this up and check out the engine inside, which we can see maybe a little bit better. Not really. I guess it is closed off, so that's pretty much as good as you're going to get for a view. But uh, it's got some nice like cylinders and stuff in there, pipes and things going around. So they did a nice job with the detailing in there, uh, and I am pleased with that. And of course, you can access the inside of the vehicle by removing this whole thing. Well, it might be easier to open this up. It has a little door. It does open. And uh, what you can actually do is on both sides, there's this little thing you just turn it out of the way and then lower the step to get in and out of the vehicle. You can see there is one on the other side and uh, that'll actually give us a little better access to the roof which comes right off. As you can see you do get the nice gun which I couldn't get this piece in all the way. Um, it just wouldn't go and I didn't want to force it to you know possibly break that so it's gonna just stay a little bit further out unfortunately but this does lower and raise and of course goes all the way around you've got the uh, grenade launchers or smoke grenade launchers or whatever they are in the back here 
So you got that going on. So there you go. <clears throat> Inside, you can see there is room for a driver, a little controls and a steering wheel and a little seat for him. And of course there are seats. Oh, there you go. That piece just fell off. Alright, <clears throat> so uh, inside you can see of course there's you know flooring and there's little bench seating uh, all the way back for I guess you could fit like up to four guys in there sitting down pretty well. Uh, you've got clips on the back here for their weapons and uh, you know that that works just fine you can get their weapons well I should not have chosen this one probably but it's alright so you can clip their weapon in there theoretically if I can get it done there you go it's kind of in you get them in the sitting position most of you probably already know all of this but you know I'm showing those that might not and they have a little hole in the back here. You just plop them down, peg them onto that peg, and they will sit there just fine. Uh, you got tiny little pockets over here that you could fit, like maybe a pistol in or something. Uh, but that's really it for the uh, for the room uh, storage, rather. Uh, so you get the um, the clips in the back. And then this guy, I guess he can drive it, you know, because he likes he likes driving. He likes popping his leg off. I like popping his leg back on, so you know it works out for everybody. Uh, but here we go. And of course, I put him in. His head falls off. All right. Well, we're having a little bit of bad luck with this <laughs> set so far. Um, but you can see, obviously, you know, you get your little guy in there, and he's ready to uh, to kind of run out. Sneak out this little door. Come on, get up. There you go. <laughs> and uh, there you have it. And of course, once you have your guys in there, you can open the little flaps and uh, have them, you know, see outside. You can, you know, probably stuff more guys in there if you wanted to. Uh, we can just sit this guy down, actually, and let him just be. Let him hold his his weapon, and he can sit down in there. So you can see you can fit four guys in pretty pretty roomily, comfortably. Um, I'm just gonna put that aside for now, and then you close this up and that up, and you twist this back up, and everything's shut nice and tight. Um, you can put the roof back on. And here is kind of the trouble and why this piece was loose before, um, because this piece. At least yesterday, when I put it together, uh, it does not quite fit flush. Uh, so you can see it's it's tabbed in in the front, but now it's kind of sticking up in the back. So you got to kind of kind of push this in in the back here. And uh, I'm not sure what's preventing it, but another piece just fell off. Oh, yep, that flap that I told you about. So uh, I'll do that. Come on, why are you, what are you getting hung up on? Oh, it's this, this one edge of this piece that is just getting hung up on. There you go. Um, so it's not a smooth action to lift this off and put it back on, which is kind of a bummer. Um, these pieces constantly falling off is kind of a bummer. Um, the price, I don't know about the price. I'm still on the fence about the price. Um, for the most part, it's pretty fair. Uh, but the the biggest issue I have is that the majority of this set is <clears throat> teeny tiny little pieces. There are so many of these like one stud pieces. This entire thing is composed mostly of small pieces. Um, and I know it looks big, but it's all like small pieces. You can see like that door, small pieces. Um, this this whole turret is really just small pieces. Uh, and you can see the roof is a whole bunch of small pieces. So it is a lot of pieces, but when you actually like dump it out on a table altogether, it doesn't really look like all that much. 
Um, and I, you know, I mean, it did still take me six hours to put together, mostly because, you know, it's all green pieces and no numbered bags, and you're just sorting, you know, sifting through a sea of green uh, to try and find what you're looking for. Um, but, I mean, I do like the vehicle. I'm not going to say I don't. There's just a lot about it that annoys me, and I think having come after the previous two sets, the Jet and the Battle Tank, which I absolutely love, um, I think this one's just not really hitting those same same points for me. Uh, on top of that, you don't get a crate in this set either, uh, which would have been really handy because you get all of these little accessories that just have nowhere to really go. Uh, so they are just kind of floating out there in the ether. I'll add them to, you know, another crate from another set, but, you know, if you were to buy only this set and not any others, you wouldn't have anywhere to store all this stuff. You can dump it inside, but it's just going to be rattling around loose in there, and I'd really like to have a smaller area to contain it all, but... Like I said, it's not a bad set. It's it was, it's cool looking, and I really like it. I did not enjoy building it at all. Uh, again, because it is mostly small pieces, like it just seemed tedious at several points. Um, but you know, it's it's not bad for what it is. But I will say, if you're only gonna get like one or two sets out of this line, um, if you're gonna go for one of the bigger, more expensive sets. Go for the jet. It's so cool. It's so much fun and an enjoyable build. Um, and if you want something smaller, that that kind of captures this in just a smaller package and less expensive package, go for the battle tank because the battle tank is awesome. Really, really good. Really, really worth your time and money. Um, this one, eh, eh. That's kind of the best I got is that it's okay. Um... I mean, it rolls. I forgot to mention that. It does roll, and I do like the wheels. <laughs> but, yeah, that is going to do it for this episode, or review episode. <laughs> too, too many video games. Uh, that is going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, be sure to leave a like if you found this insightful or helpful. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I've got more Mega Bloks coming, hopefully very soon. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, check out my channel. Uh, I have a lot more Mega Bloks Call of Duty sets there, as well as some Halo stuff, I think. Um, so check that out. And, uh, yeah, in the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.